Hello friends, welcome to Dr. Sai Physiology Academy, DOPA for short. This is the place where we make the learning of physiology easy, exciting and effective. Thank you for joining me. If you're new to this channel, you're especially welcome. And if you love the content that we share, kindly click the like button and also the subscribe button. And don't forget to turn on notifications so that you don't get to miss any new content that we drop. Now let's get started. Today we're going to be dealing with special types of passive transport meaning that they don't use ATP okay whenever you hear passive transport means that they don't use adenosine ATP triphosphate as their energy source for movement doesn't mean that they don't use energy every movement needs energy we've talked about that in the part one okay the previous lecture simple and facilitated diffusion these are special types they don't use ATP but they are not it's not diffusion it's not facilitated diffusion and all of that so what are we going to be talking about in these special types two types osmosis I'm sure you are familiar with this term osmosis. but the one that you may not be familiar with is this one bulk flow okay osmosis and bulk flow what is osmosis Osmosis. This diagram is representing osmosis. Now, osmosis, the focus is on the water molecule. You now, you have a solution. Solution is made up of solvent and what? Solute. So now, look at this diagram. You have this. This is a solution. Okay? All these particles representing the solute. So now, you have this side this there's a membrane semi permeable membrane call it semi permeable okay now the in this right side of the membrane you see that the solute particles are sparse unlike this side you see that they are concentrated okay what this means is that there is more water concentration in this part than in this part because the solute has occupied more space leaving less space for water do you understand that's what it means so osmosis is the movement Osmosis hmm? is the movement of water molecules. Of water molecules. Now, from the region of what? Higher water concentration to the region of lower water concentration movement of water molecules from region of higher water concentration to the region of lower water concentration i know what they taught you in maybe secondary school physics or chemistry it's a little bit different from what i have defined now there is a trick. There is another definition. Is this movement of water molecules from region of lower solute concentration? Look at the solute. These dots here. It's lower from region of lower solute concentration to region of higher solute concentration. So you can define it in two ways. Okay. Then you now add across a semi permeable membrane okay this is it this is osmosis for you only water is moving up solutes they are not moving so in osmosis the semi permeable membrane is impermeable to the solutes only water can move and look at the result here 
water has moved so the water level has come down and it moves to this side it's increased so you now see that the concentration in these two parts are now the same so that's what it wants to achieve so it's the movement of water molecules yet they are different now it's the same but the difference now is that the water level has reduced here it has increased so that is osmosis for you it's very important now when we are talking about a cell now this semi-permeable membrane is the cell membrane okay so there is a lot of movement of water from the interstitial fluid to the intracellular fluid like this and they always want this balance but then if you now have look at it very carefully because it's very important to understand this concept if you now have an imbalance let's say this isf which is interstitial fluid okay interstitial fluid the concentration of solute here is high and here it is low that means water is higher here so anywhere where the solute is higher water is lower anywhere solute is lower water is higher okay so water is higher here and lesser here so water will move from here to here so that it won't it wants this balance so what will happen when water moves from here to here that means this cell will shrink are you getting it the cell will shrink because it has lost water but if it happens that this place has more water than this place water will move from here to here it will make the cell swell so those are two extremes that can cause problems for the cell when the cell swells too much sometimes it can burst lice the cell will die when it shrinks too much it also affects the cell membrane and it will affect transport of other things okay so that's it so that concept is related to hypertonicity and hypotonicity hyper tonic and hypotonic all right so where water content is higher and solute content is lower it's called hypotonic lower solute okay hypertonic means higher solute concentration so you, will, you are going to learn all that to so go ahead in physiology so that's what osmosis is talking about remember semi-permeable membrane and water is the one moving so you can say from region of higher water concentration to lower co water concentration or from region of lower solute concentration to region of higher solute concentration that's osmosis for you all right so we're going to be looking at bulk flow after this break Right, welcome back now the second one special types of passive transport bulk flow you might not have heard of this before but this bulk flow the major thing you must remember that two key concepts you must remember one is that bulk flow happens across capillary membranes capillary membranes and what is moving it what is moving the substances that need to be transported okay is pressure these two key things you need to know about bulk flow now what do we mean by that in the body capillaries are very numerous very numerous they are, in fact they are invisible they are, in, they are they are the invisible blood vessels that we have in the body why are they invisible for example you have cells like this okay around so in between the cells you have interstitial fluid you know that already okay isf 
also call it tissue fluid exists that bits surrounds the cell but also not only tissue fluid surrounds the cell capillaries also so we have capillaries let's use red pen capillaries in between because capillaries are so tiny they can exist in between and what is the function of capillaries is exchange so capillaries they are the connection between the interstitial fluid and the plasma you know the fluid inside the blood vessel is called plasma and then the interstitial fluid is the connection between the what's inside the cell and what is outside the cell so what is inside the cell can come out into the interstitial fluid then enter the cell and vice versa okay so the capillary has membrane has a membrane but substances some certain substances some proteins and some small, very little tiny proteins and other substances they follow water okay when water the pressure that is following is actually the pressure from the blood blood pressure okay no capillaries there are blood vessels so the blood pressure is what is pushing the water either into the capillaries or out of the capillary so that force which water is going it now drags the solute that needs to be carried so we also call it solvent drag so bulk flow is also called solvent drag okay so when it is dragging substances into from the interstitial fluid into the capillaries we call it reabsorption so bulk flow can be divided into reabsorption and another one when the solvent is dragging solutes from the capillaries into the interstitial fluid space we call it filtration okay you see the difference that's that's bulk flow for you so the kidney is one special place where a lot of bulk flow happens even the digestive system also you have there's a lot of water it carries fluid a lot of reabsorption filtration but more in the kidney you have a lot of filtration okay from the capillaries out into the tissue fluid and when it's coming from tissue into the capillary it's called reabsorption two ways by pressure the pressure of water the pressure is what is pushing it don't ever forget it once you miss this pressure you have missed it and it occurs only capillary membranes not other not normal cell membrane okay capillary membrane and the force pushing it is the force of water the pressure of water solvent drag so that is what you need to know about these special types osmosis and bulk flow so i'm going to see you in the next video